came here to learn more about the future of design and about sustainability. It brings the literal meaning to the word workshop, doesn't it? It's nice to physically get filthy and grab tools and learn by doing as opposed to learn by thinking. The main point of us being here today is to make people more aware of the circular economy, looking after a product from cradle to cradle rather than cradle to grave. We're in the far west of Cornwall here, quite on the North Atlantic coast. Now the mine was a 20th century tin mine that um, operated from 1911 through to 1990. The actual museum itself is the mine. And it's now one of the premier mining sites in the UK, where we can explain um, how tin was dug up from underground, processed and then refined into, into, the, into the tin metal. Now about 90 of these tables in operation at any one time. A table like this is an axe tree from like half a tonne of rock and out, half a tonne of salmon out, something like that. What about this tin mine? Tin's awesome stuff. Amazing material. And as you know, we shut the last tin mine, not because it had run out of resources, but because tin became cheaper elsewhere. And the mine shut, tin was trading at 2,000, 2,500 pounds a tonne. Now they've risen. And the value, once again, would support a UK-based tin industry. The key thing is we've forgotten that it's really good to get our hands dirty and we're beginning to see that coming back. We're beginning to see pride in manufacturing. So what I want you to do, have a look at what's in front of you and there's some tools and everything that you need there. We've got safety glasses if you're doing something like the washing machine with a hammer. And I want you to very carefully take the things apart and I want you to try and work out what's in there. We've got on the washing machine a nice array of elements, sort of aluminium, carbon, cadmium, chlorine, copper, blah blah, blah and it goes on like that. That, when they say a drum, does that mean that entire thing? Yeah, they, they're, 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 it's £180, yeah. you can buy a new washing machine yeah. for £200. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's, so they don't want you to replace the drum, and they've, 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 they've set the prices specifically to do so. so. We've taken off all the bits that we can, and I suppose they assume that you can get out all the bits that you need to now. Um, but, you know, still it's taken... Uh, 25 minutes and three men and we've broken about three things in doing it. It's using more energy, it's going around at terrific speed, um, you know, it's defying physics in certain ways in terms of weight or at least fighting with it. You're buying a lump of concrete and uh, a big empty box and for the price, I think that's what you get, you can make it better but you, you know, you pay more. I think it's a mini TV screen, isn't it? Having undone the four main fixing screws, and had no cooperation from the unit. I put it on the floor and whacked it with a hammer and I broke the plastic holding catches which you couldn't tell were there. So having broken them there was no chance of reassembly at all. Date it, this is going to be really sad, 1994-1995. But if you went into here to repair the brand knows you've been in even to have a look. So there were these one-way plastic catches that were breaking when I was opening it. When I look at the ease of disassembly, the more modern we progressed to, the harder it was, without any shadow of doubt. Fundamentally bad, badly designed, basically. You've got screws on top of screws on top of circuit boards that are on top of other circuit boards, and you've, got, you've literally got to break it to take it apart. It's impossible to do it any other mm -hmm. way. With the gold and the tantalum and the valuable materials, and like some of these circuits are so small, I don't mm -hmm. know how you would even go about beginning to separate components or getting any value out of them. I guess you'd melt them and then separate them from there. But... <laughs> ABS plastic, steel, stainless steel, some copper. I uh, just started taking apart the laptop and it was so much easier than this little camera. I mean, I mean, it took a bit of force to get into, but I mean, straight away we end up with uh, CD drives, hard drives. Indeed. It's just two screws and you pop it off and it, that's extended the lifespan of my laptop. We're trying to kind of pool knowledge and connect people with each other. So yeah, we, we need you to, to get in touch and tell other people about the project and all of that.